Good morning, OHS. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, and it is an A-Day. I'm Marissa, and I'm joined by my co-host, Talbert. Good morning, Bucks. Coming up in today's show, we will discuss Ghost Graham Sales, NHS, No Shape November fundraiser, club meetings, and more. But before we get on with today's announcements, let's take a look at today's weather with Michael. Thanks, Talbert. Today will be partly sunny. There will be a high of 72 and a low of 60. Now let's take a look at the five-day forecast. After today, the temperatures will drop down to the 60s, tomorrow, and then the 50s for the rest of the week. That's all for today's weather. Now let's send it back to Marissa and Talbert for the rest of your announcements. So, how was your volleyball senior night? It was spectacular. Big shout out to Buck Boosters. Yeah, they did a great job. Now let's take a look at today's announcements. The sophomore class is selling ghost grams today through Thursday in the cafeteria during all lunch periods. Ghost grams are Halloween candy that are $1 each and can be taken upon purchase or delivered to a friend during homeroom on Halloween. Please support the sophomore class and make someone's day with a Halloween tree. French Club will meet after school today in room 258. They will be making a chocolate fondue with a variety of dippers. All are welcome. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Coletta. Technology Club will hold a meeting tomorrow after school to begin work on Technology Club projects and to discuss fundraising options. All members are asked to attend. Please check their Google Classroom page for updates or see Mr. Nagel. To all Travel Club members, the Tastefully Simple fundraiser has begun. See the club's Google Classroom for more information. Books can be picked up from Mrs. Williams in room 174 or Mrs. McPherson in room 161. Now let's send it over to Talbert with the rest of today's announcements. The National Honor Society is hosting their annual No Shave November fundraiser to raise money for cancer research throughout the month of November. NHS members voted and decided that this year's donations will go to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. If you would like to participate, please let Mrs. Morris know by Monday, October 31st. Once you let Mrs. Morris know that you would like to participate, donation cans will be passed out so that you can ask your family, friends, neighbors, other teachers, etc. to consider donating. Although this is a hard time for many of us in our community, we feel strongly about helping this great cause. If you are not participating but would like to make a donation, you can put the money in Ms. Moore's mailbox. If you would like to write a check, please make it out to Oswego High School NHS. All donations will be sent to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. We appreciate your support. Creative Writing Club will be hosting its first informational meeting and meet and greet this Thursday from 2.40 to 3.20 in room 168. All writers are welcome, authors, poets, lyricists, screenwriters, and more. Snacks will be provided. See Mr. Waugh for details. There will be an, in, an introductory meeting for the environmental club today at 2.35 in room 185. Come and learn how you can bring environmental awareness to our community. Go on local hikes and compete in our Envirothon. If you care about our environment, please join us. That is all for today's announcements. Now let's send it over to Mason for a look at our Buccaneer sports. Thanks, Tal. The girls' volleyball team is hosting Bishop Grimes tonight at 6.30 for their senior night. The boys' volleyball team travels to FM for a game at 6.30. There will be a meeting for any student interested in joining the boys' or girls' varsity bowling teams on Tuesday, November 1st at 2.35 in room 217. Bowling is a great way to get involved in our Buck Athletic program without much experience. If you're unable to attend this meeting, but are still interested in joining the team, please see Ms. Koskowski or Mr. Evans. Winter sports start on November 14th. Family ID is open now through November 7th for registrations. In order to be eligible, you must have a family ID registration and a current physical. Please see nurses as soon as possible to check your physical status. Physical spots are very limited this year. That's all for your Buccaneer sports. Have a great day, OHS.